My name is Amanda. I'm here at the Swift House here in Middlebury, and I'm here for the beer. Welcome to hereforthebeer.com. Today we're at Otter Creek Brewery, also home to Wolver's Organic Ales. Today we're meeting with Mike Gerhardt, a top brewer here at Otter Creek, and he's going to tell us a little bit about his new beers. Welcome, Mike. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks for coming. So we're starting with Pat Levy's All American. Can you tell us about this series? Sure. Uh, what we we want to do here with our Wolver's line of beers is uh, produce beers with organic ingredients and not just uh, to say it's organic, but it's also uh, with the consumer in mind that they're looking for more than just a beer off the shelf. We want to ensure the consumer that we're um, accountable for where we're getting our ingredients, that they're being grown in the right ways, uh, they're being taken care of um, from sustainable agriculture. So this series of beers that we have is the Farmer Series, uh, which we've had, we'll have three over the course of the year. We started with Will Stevens Pumpkin Ale, uh, in the fall, which will be available again this fall. Uh, local man, organic farmer, Will Stevens, we buy all uh, his, the pumpkins for our pumpkin beer from him. This uh, beer we're holding right now is uh, named Pat Levy's All American. We formed a relationship with a hop grower in Oregon that uh, we decided to say that if you'll grow organic hops for us in a certain quantity, uh, we will strictly buy them and use them all in our beer. Uh, this specific beer, name the beer after you, which is pretty cool, and uh, that's what you got here. Uh, this beer is about hops. It's an American pale ale, uh, moderate alcohol content with a nice uh, touch of hops. It's got some fuggles, some goldings, and magnum hops, all organic grown, like I said, in Oregon. Um, and it was kind of just a decision that we wanted to make here, because before that, most of the organic hops that you can find were made are grown in New Zealand. And uh, just to be able to switch uh, and be able to get them in our country and we think it's all American as well because the malt that we're using is organically grown malt and it's kind of neat that we can say the hops were grown in the west coast the malt was grown in the midwest and the brewers on the east coast brewed it so what better way to bring all of America together with uh, a nice tasty brew like that it's totally all American very cool cheers, cheers. move over bud all American here's the real deal <laughs> <laughs> all right. So Mike, what do we have for 2009 going on with the Wallovers line? Well, 2009 for Wallovers, uh, we are going to continue with our Farmer Series. Uh, our next beer up is named for Ben Gleason. It's uh, Ben Gleason's uh, White Ale. Ben Gleason's a farmer in Vermont, and we purchase a large portion of his unmalted, organically grown wheat up here, uh, and it'll be our kind of twist on a wit beer. So I'm really excited to hear that Otter Creek is developing an Imperial Series. Can you tell us a little bit about this? Absolutely. We're all uh, very excited about it here as well. It's kind of a departure from the direction that we've always been going in the past. And granted, we've been doing the World Tour beers. Some have slightly higher alcohol content than others. Um, we're basically laying the gauntlet down with this line of beers saying, we're going to brew strong, bold beers uh, with amazingly complex flavor profiles, higher alcohol content using all kinds of different yeasts, multiple yeasts, and oak aging, um, and the likes, uh, to produce a whole new style and line of beers coming out of here that is meant to be laid down and aged. Um, they're only going to be in 22 ounce bottles. These aren't beers that we expect someone to buy a six or a four pack of and sit down and drink one. These are the kind of beers that are going to be so complex uh, and big that it's the kind of beer that you want to enjoy in a group of friends, open a bottle, share with people, Check it out, how it changes over time, how it's been in your cellar. Um, so that's kind of the, the angle that we're looking to go. Uh, normally in our production brewery, we're brewing four to five batches of 50 barrels at a time into one tank over the course of the day. Uh, we're going an entirely different route with these. We've got some smaller 50 barrel fermentation tanks out on the floor that we're dedicating to our Imperial Series. Now we're brewing one-off batches uh, into the tanks where they're allowed to ferment and age accordingly. Most of our beers are turned around in two weeks. These beers are definitely not ready to drink in two weeks. Um, they're at least sitting in the tanks for four to six weeks. Uh, and then even if you get them right off the, uh, off the truck out of the brewery, you'll see that they can still stand some time to age even longer and the complexities will grow and grow with time. Um, and it's starting off with the Russian Imperial Stout. 
and it came in at 10.6%. Uh, it's got a great hop character. It's loaded with the roasty tones, uh, alcohol, the chocolate malts, black malts. Uh, it's got a great hop aroma. Uh, the, the head on it pours, you know, brown mocha colored. It's, it's, it's everything that a Russian Imperial should be. And it's fitting for the time up here, being as cold as it's been up in Middlebury lately in the snow. Uh, you don't need to even get your wood burning stove going at home right now if you've got a bottle of this because you just crack it open, get that rolling in the snifter, and it's just a fantastic brew. So, so what's next for the Imperial Series? Well, we're, uh, next stop is going to be an Imperial Oak Aged IPA. Uh, it's going to be again around the 10 to 11% range. Uh, there's a lot of good ones out there, but I feel that we can do uh, our justice for Otter Creek on our interpretation of it. And uh, that should be out in the next few months. Uh, I'm sure uh, we'll be having some press releases to follow for, for everyone out there. And uh, from there, we've got something in the works that uh, we're going to kind of depart from the um, standard style of Imperial beers. And all I can tell you is it's going to have a French type theme, but it's in the works. I guarantee you they're all going to be stand-up beers, well-made, um, complex, and uh, fantastic to age and uh, share from time to come. Excellent. Well, Mike, thank you so much for having us out here today. This was fantastic. I feel like Otter Creek is a whole new brewery already, and we're really looking forward to what you can bring to the brewery, to the table. Thank you very <laughs> thank much. Thank you so much, Mike. Cheers.